John Marston. Miss Tilly. That's Mrs. Tilly to you. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you. I'm well. Well and happy and... I miss you and Abigail. She's well. Jack's well. All is well, I think. I, I never thanked you for what you did. Oh, there's the trolley. I still think about all of you all the time. My life, it's different now. Mine too. But I still see a bunch of Charles and Uncle and Sadie. So not quite so different as Abigail would like. I married a lawyer. He's a fine man. We live in a house. Us too. I'm sorry. I've got to go. I'm late. But can I write to you and Abigail someplace? Yeah, we're up at Beecher's Hope over in Great Plains, West Elizabeth. I'll try. Be well, John Marston. All right, girl. Evening to you. Buenos noches. Hey, Jack. How about tomorrow we do something? Uh, okay, Pa. See you bright and early, then. How you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading and, uh, playing with the dog. You wanna go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. You do like eating, though, right? Cause we gotta find some food. Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. 
Okay, sir. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But... Let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But... If you'd like him to, I guess. So... You don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah, I... I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. And it'll be pretty fun, I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you even though I... Can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean... Yes. I'd like that. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. You'll see it better when you get older. It's tough at your age. Just land and light. But to me, it's... It's... It's life. I... I can't explain. Okay. What are you gonna be when you're older? I want to travel. See the world. That's a good idea. Then, become a lawyer and, and help people. That's not a lawyer, that's a... Are you laughing at me? No. Never. Just... Whatever you do, do it better than me and your mom. We had it. However we had it. We didn't make the most of it until now. Okay. Okay. This is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that. And hours later, they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. Uncle Jose, he was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh, yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. I got a bite. I got a bite. All right. Now stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. You want to set the hook in tight. He's he's strong. Good. Now reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now reel. I got him. <laughs> What do you think? How do you feel? <laughs> I don't... I feel... I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. 
Hey, uh, my trip with Arthur, I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up, dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's gonna show up here. Thank the Lord. Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I don't know. I'll go find him. Rufus! Come on, boy! Rufus! Here, boy! Let me come help you look. He bit him! Calm no. down, boy. And Jack, you calm down, too. Come here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Pa? Keep going! Spit it out! Is it all out? Well, suck it, Dad! He's gonna die! He's gonna die! He'll be okay. We just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. Abigail! Can I get a hand? What, what's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him. And the boy. Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes. Sometimes, you just don't know how things are gonna turn out. But, but the dog... The dog's gonna be fine. It's okay, son. Taking care of your horse, huh? Good lad. 
Good boy. Hey, fella. There's a boy. So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. Ah, you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie! <laughs> You're alive! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> Well, how'd you know she was... We... I'm... Sorry, I you thought I... You look well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, well, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but tell me about you, darling. No arm to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking... Maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, uh, he ain't looking for that kind of work. I took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I going to do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I got to bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business. You know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Well, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. Say your goodbyes, John. We're off. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Ha! Hey. It's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was... It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. 
Bert is asking her at least. Oh my! I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about, and I, I think I know. I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already, long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. We're cutting off the main track up here by Manzanita Post. Ah! So we're coming up on where he's been saying. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Camping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Up here. Easy. Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. This... This looks... Looks like a bear or something came through here. <sighs> and fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south. Whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. It's that way, I'd say. Great. I think I got him. Follow me. Yeah, this way. It keeps going through here. There's a cabin up here. Pretty. Oh boy, that our fella? Maybe, but looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's left of one? Is it gone? You, Marshal Thurwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out! Come on. No shoes. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! He's gone. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwell! Get out here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. 
Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Sir Will, call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. You all right, John? Yeah. Ah. Just, we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. Family man and all. Seeing all this? Uh, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I spend my cash on fancy clothes and horses. Who's this up here? Is that... Are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? The bounty hunter? Get off the road! Look, I got great respect for you professionally. But if that's Marshal Thorwell there, uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. For doing what? Get off the road! We was thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection? Uh, me and my partner, we're dead set on splitting that reward. And if not, well, we said we was going to take all of it. <laughs> you and your partner are just children. Don't get yourselves hurt now, son. I told you she wouldn't listen. Drop him. Let's go. Can we go now? Them bastards was green. If we didn't get him, someone else would have. This is a cold business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall, and I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you want to hear about him? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work, that's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah, that's something we, well, I, I gotta do. With or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still mostly just whispers, but I think he might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Here, put him down. Go on. Get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? <laughs> no, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you.
Tell you what, woman, was a damn sight more peaceful round here before you came back. You're just lucky I'm a soft touch. I should sling it out by your ear. Ah, you always was a cold-hearted lizard of a woman. And you always was someone willing to live off the efforts of others. It's walk or work, old man. I got lumbago. You'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I worked my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston, Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston, do you? Why you let him stay? He's actually been pretty useful in a useless sort of way. Who's that? No idea. Friend or foe? We'll soon find out. It's the Gettys boys. From Proghorn Ranch? Yeah. Mr. Milton! Mr. Milton! Duncan! Sir, Ma found some old furniture in the attic. I thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present, you know? Uh, they send their regards. Uh, how kind they are. Tell your mom, Paul, we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just over here. <laughs> then we can arrange. This is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Paul said this is the least he could do. Well, that's about everything. <laughs> send your Paul my best regards. Tell him he's got friends for life in me and my family. Bye, sir. Ma'am? I can't believe this. It's so kind. Sure. But there's still some more things that we need to get. How about we take a ride into town? It's been ages since we spent any time together. It has. Let's go get the wagon. Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since... Since, uh... Since forever? Maybe not forever, but a long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We've both been working hard. And now we got something to show for it. The ranch, this life. It's so nice, John. I hope it'll only get nicer. May I help you, my lady? <laughs> oh, John. <laughs> and now to Blackwater. Is there anything you want to do? You said there were some things we still needed. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have some fun. I know your idea of fun, John Marston. <laughs> I ain't had a drink and... Well... I left those things behind me. No, I mean... Good. Wholesome fun. Like, uh... Decent folk have. We decent now? I guess. Well, decent or not, I still got some errands to run. That's fine. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait took, for starters. Portrait? There's a feller in town takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? 
I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. No. I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. And that may be good for them, too. With any luck, Jack and Charles will eat up. <laughs> Don't get my hopes up. <laughs> ah! So maybe you're right. We'll stay. You know I am. Okay, then. Orchard it is. I'll just put us here. Let me help you down. Why are you being so courteous? I don't know. There you go. I'm gonna head to the drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You wanna come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. All right, let's get that picture taken. It means that much to you. It does. Today it does. You're acting kind of funny. I am kind of funny. <laughs> A different kind of funny. Am I annoying you? No. I like this version of you. It just, it just ain't you. Well, maybe I've changed. Finally? I don't know. Probably not. Oh, hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, a photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So, uh, what do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Uh, our portrait taken. Oh, well, we do that. Yes, wonderful. Handsome couple, quite something, but you need a background. A background? Yes, we have Niagara Falls, Paris by night. <laughs> we have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. T take, a, take a look, pick one. What do you think? Let's see the others. Just pull the lever there to release the next one. How about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? <laughs> Let's see what else they got. This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Let's see everything. That's nice. It's like being back home. Was that all of them? This is, uh, mm, this is a bar. Surely there's a photograph of you in a bar already. Look, this was your idea, John. It's up to you. You've seen all of them. Anything you like? Ah. This one. Wonderful. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River, but they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. <sighs> Try to enjoy. I think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Be quiet. Thought you were a cowboy, not a poser. Oh, no, I'm a poser. I learned from the best. That is true. Oh, I like it. Quite a pose. 
Excellent. You've done this before. So natural, particularly you, sir. That might be the one. Lovely. Very good. How's this? Bravo! Now, give me a minute. I'm going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Tough guy. Gunslinger. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. I just posed. Shut up. <laughs> you know, you're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> True. <laughs> here. Came out beautifully. <gasps> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, look at that face on you. Be quiet. <laughs> what do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh, yes. He'll probably come in for a pose. He seemed to enjoy himself. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> so what shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Never? No. Well, come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. It's the marvel of the age. I love marvels. <laughs> okay, good. Well, let's go. Thank you. It's... It's real fine doing normal things. Come in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's playing? Something called sketching for sweetheart, I think. Oh, hello. Two tickets, please, to see sketching for sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. Okay. What's it about? I have no idea. Thank you again. Come on in. A mystery awaits. She's incredible. It's like they're really there. Hey, I'm trying to watch this. John Marston. <sighs> what are you doing with that on? I thought you might be cold. John. <laughs> <laughs> That's women for you. Don't you dare, John Marston. What? I'm watching. Please. It's not. Don't be such a sour puss. <laughs> Stop it. She's a piece of work. Really? Shh. <laughs> oh, my. Is it over? I think so. Come on. Be seeing you. All right. <laughs> we better get home. <laughs> oh, we never get out. The farm will be fine. <sighs> the farm. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. <laughs> Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on. 
You're a silly man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, he's even worse. Let me help you in. <laughs> like I said, mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. Don't think. We're borrowing it. I hope it don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. All I can see is a strange man rowing. I thought it was John Marston, but now I suspect he's been replaced with an imposter. <sighs> Here's good. Ain't it pretty? John, you can't tease me like that. Will you... Will you marry me? <laughs> Get up. I am married to you. No, I mean proper. In front of God. You serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. You serious? It would make me very happy if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I, I never, I didn't know what mattered to me. It didn't, but now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. 